What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from the Bellagio Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is day three, is it day three? Day three of my poker vlog here in Vegas, 2021 edition. And uh, we're here for some one three no limit. We might meet up with Harry B Poker. Hopefully he'll make an appearance in the episode or maybe we'll even play at the same table. So I hope you guys enjoy it, here we go. All right, guys, real quick, while we're on the list waiting for a table, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. It helps me out. It really helps the algorithm. If you're not new here, thanks for returning. Hope you guys are enjoying the content from Vegas. Let's get into the episode one three, no limit. Felt life. Description down below for the link to the store. Let's go. Okay, what are the first hands we get into? We're in the small blind with Ace King Off. It limps to me, and I make it eleven dollars to go. The under the gun and the middle position are the only ones who call the eleven dollar bet. So there's three of us, and we're going three ways to the flop, and the flop is very favorable. It is ten Queen Ace with two spades. We have top pair spades aren't really. Uh, a concern right now. I threw out a bet of $15 and only the uh, under the gun, I'm sorry, only the middle position calls the under the gun folded. So we're heads up to the turn now. The turn is the six of hearts, doesn't change too much. I check to see where he's at and he checks it back. So we're going to the river now, which is the nine of diamonds. Not checking at this time. I threw out a bet of $20 and he basically calls instantly. I flip over the ace king and he mucks his cards and we'll take down this pot. All right, in the next hand here, we have ace, deuce, and a small blind once again. I just decide to limp in the $3. I call it a $3. I've been trying not to limp too much lately, but I did here. And we are four ways to the flop, which is deuce, eight, ten with two hearts. Obviously, I have a deuce in my hand with the uh, ace kicker. I'm the first to act, and I throw out a bet of $11. The big blind folds and middle position and the under the gun call. So we're three ways to the turn. The turn is terrible. It's the king of hearts. Brings the front door flush. Kings, king 10. I check it and the middle position decides to say bet and he throws out a bet of $35. And after thinking about it, I just can't call this with just uh, ace deuce and I fold my hand. All right, small blind again. I limp again with eight, ten of hearts. And we're four ways to the flop again. The flop is nine, jack, king with two hearts. I don't know if that flop can get too much better. We got a flush draw and a straight draw going. I throw out a bet of $10. The 
Big Blind next to me thinks about it, and he calls the $10. The middle position folds, and the button raises to 50 After thinking about it, I decide to call the 50 and the Big Blind folds his hand. So at this point, we're going heads up to the turn. And the turn, you guessed it couldn't get any better. It's the Queen of Spades. We hit the straight. The only thing that could have been better was the Queen of Hearts. I check it to see where he's at. He throws out a stack of reds. And I really don't need a count. I'm just kind of looking at it, eyeing it up, seeing what I want to do, thinking about it. It is a $100 stack. And after looking at my stack, I have about 225 No good amount would be good to raise other than shoving it all in. So that's what I do. I throw out a small stack of chips and say all in. And he basically instantly calls. So I slide all my money in the middle. It's about 225 or 230 effective. The river is the two of clubs. And I flip my hand over and show him it's 810. And he flips his hand over and shows 810. Eight of clubs, ten of clubs. <laughs> We're going to chop this pot. I think it was well played, and uh, we don't lose this pot and make a couple bucks. Okay, a couple orbits later, I have pocket tens on the button. I make it $16 to go and only the small blind calls. We're heads up to the flop. The flop is 489 rainbow. The small blind throws out a bet of $25. Obviously, with a pair of tens uh, on that board, I'm not going anywhere. So I call the $25 after Hollywooding a little bit. The turn is a beautiful, beautiful card. It is the 10 of diamonds. We hit a set of tens, but we check it to the river. River is the six of hearts. Decently innocent card. Hopefully he doesn't have a seven. He's gathering up some chips and decides on a bet of $40. And with that kind of bet, I, I don't know if he was trying to represent the seven, but I just decide to flat call and not raise him in case he has the seven, which would beat us with a straight. So I call and he shows ace four spades. And I flip over and show him the bad news, and we'll take down a uh, decent sized pot there. Right, in the final hand I'm going to go over for the night, I have Ace Queen in the big blind. Middle position raises it to $11. I call, and we are three ways to the flop. The flop is decent. It's 10, Ace, 8 with two hearts. Obviously with top pair and a really, really good kicker. I throw out a bet of $10. And only the middle position all the way at the other end of the table calls. So we're heads up. To the turn the turn is a brick it's a five of clubs doesn't change too much i decide to check and he gathers his chips and throws out a bet of 15 dollars now that must mean he's got something i don't think he has a set so i raise it up to 40 and he immediately snap calls so the river Again, I think it's a brick. It's the seven of diamonds. This time, I throw out $100, and he snap calls that and shows ace jack, and I show him ace queen, and we'll take down this uh, biggest pot of our night tonight and uh, wrap this one up.
All right, real quick, let me tell you about Rad Poker. It's a six second heads up hold'em app, helps you make quicker decisions in online poker and in the poker room. It's an awesome app, they just updated it. It's in the description down below. Check it out, iOS, Android, go download it. I'll see you on there, look for Tony G410. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.